everyone, another book today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And this one is entitled The Princess Test. So there's a test to see if you can be a princess. So let's see if we qualify. It's, adop it's adapted by Elizabeth Bennett. Okay. The Princess Test. May I have your attention, please? Miss Flora calls as she gathers all of the princesses together. The three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, tell the girls at the Royal Prep Academy that they will be practicing for a very important test. The princess test, adds Miss Meriwether. It will be their chance to show the fairies everything they have learned about being a true princess. The test will be in the ballroom right after school. Sophia and June decide to go to the library so they can study together. And I'll say John. So Sophia and John decide to go to the library so they can study before the test. Amber and Hildegard don't think they need to study. Amber and I already know everything about being a princess, says Hildegard, but they decide to join the other girls just in case they have any questions. There are so many books in the library that John and Sophia don't know where to begin. Sophia suggests that they ask Mrs. Higgins, the librarian, for help. Hello, de -o -de -o, dear princesses. What can I help you with? asks Mrs. Higgins. We have an important test and I want to do well. Do you have any books about being a good princess? Sophia asks her. Mrs. Higgins shows them her favorite books and the girls get ready to study. Thanks, Mrs. Higgins, says Sophia. Absolutely, calls Mrs. Higgins. Banquet manners, tea party conversation topics, the correct way to use a handkerchief. The list goes on and on. Sophia hasn't been a princess for very long. She still has a lot to learn. Amber and Hildegard aren't worried. Even John just seems to know more than Sophia. All of you know everything already, Sophia sighs. Amber gets up and spins around slowly. I'll show you what really matters, Sophia. Just make sure your gown looks gorgeous, like mine, and you'll do fine, she says. It's almost time for the test, so the girls walk to the ballroom. Along the way, they pass Mrs. Higgins, standing beside a broken wheelbarrow. Mrs. Higgins asks the girls for some help. Each of the girls tells Mrs. Higgins, that they would like to help, but can't be late for the princess test. Only Sophia stops to see if she can help. What's the matter, Mrs. Higgins, Sophia asks. Mrs. Higgins explains that her wheelbarrow broke and she can't carry all of her heavy books home by herself. Sophia doesn't want to be late to the ballroom either, but of course she will help. I don't live far, Mrs. Higgins assures her just down that path a wee bit. Sophia and Mrs. Higgins head down the path, each carrying a stack of books. Before long, Sophia realizes that it may take a bit longer than she thought to get to Mrs. Higgins' house. A tree has fallen and the footbridge over the stream is broken. What will they do? I understand if you need to go back, Mrs. Higgins tells Sophia. I'll be okay on my own. No, Sophia answers. I can't let you carry all these heavy books by yourself. They decide to cross the stream by hopping from stone to stone. Finally, Mrs. Higgins' cottage is in view but they must trudge through a mud bog to get there. Sophia looks down at her gown. 
Amber said my gown had to look perfect for the princess test, she tells Mrs. H Mrs. Higgins. But she doesn't want to let Mrs. Higgins down. So she lifts up her dress and begins to step into the mud. Slowly they trek, then splash, they both fall in the mud. Finally, they arrive at Mrs. Higgins' cottage. Sophia is late for the test and her dress is a mess. Mrs. Higgins thanks Sophia for her help. You're welcome. I may not have made it to the princess test, but at least you got home, she says. But Mrs. Higgins knows a shortcut back to school. With a little bit of magic, Sophia finds herself in the ballroom with all the other princesses. Sophia, where'd you come from? And what happened to your dress? Amber asks Sophia. Welcome to the princess test, Sophia calls Mrs. Higgins. Sophia is confused. She isn't sure how to answer Amber, and she is even more puzzled when she sees two Mrs. Higginses. With another burst of magic, Mrs. Higgins turns herself into Miss Fauna. I use magic to make myself look like Mrs. Higgins, Miss Fauna tells the girls. It was all part of the princess test. All of the girls had shown the fairies that they knew a lot about being princesses, but Sophia was the only one to take the time to help Mrs. Higgins. A true princess always helps a person in need. Not only did Sophia pass the test, but she got a beautiful trophy for doing the best job. So the lesson from the princess test is, if we always do what's right and put others first, everything should work out. If you like the princess test, please press like at the end. And I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.